And here we have the raw heart rate scores. And this is, again, this is like these are the push-ups and these are the double leg squats and these are the single leg squats. And you see with the real Katsu that he has heart rates up over 160 when he's doing this work. Uh, with the uh, inadequate Katsu, this, this, the graph is missing here, but this is around 130 to 140. And the same thing with the uh, uh, no Katsu belts, it's basically the same 140 heart rate to be doing these kinds of exercises. はい、で次はその心拍の動きを追ったものなんですけれどもそのダブルレックスクワットとシングルレックスクワットをしていってあの本当の加圧をしたあの加圧の適正圧でそのベルトをした時はあの心拍が160ぐらいまで上がってるんですけれども不十分な時それから加圧なしの時というのは130140ぐらいにとどまっているということですね。And, and one of the things that we can get off of this heart rate monitor and the heart rate variability is we can see what the ventilation is or how much air he is breathing at the time. And again, with the real Katsu, we see much greater increases in ventilation from the exercises than we do with either the inadequate Katsu or the uh, no Katsu. Ventilation referring to uh, uh, the how lungs? much air you're breathing. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 ventilation is a ventilation. こちらを見ても分かります通り、その適正圧で、あのカーズベルトを装着したときにですね、きちんとしたその心拍変動が見られています。And we can also calculate the energy expenditure in kilocalories per minute of real katsu, inadequate katsu, and no katsu. And what we see here is that there's no difference really between no katsu and inadequate katsu, but that we have a bit more of a calorie burn. Uh, with the real katsu. はい、で先ほどはごめんなさいあのあれです、ね、呼,吸呼吸の量の変動でしたあの心拍ではなくて呼吸量の変動で、えっと、このグラフはエネルギー消費量あのカロリーなんですけれども、えっと、リアルカーツとそれ以外の2つというのが明らかに違いが出ていますあの不十分なカーツをした時それからカーツベルトなしの時にはです、ね、エネルギー消費量あのカロリー消費量ともにあのリアルカーツよりは下回っているということです。And this is actually kind of an interesting question because if he's doing the same work with his, with his arms, then in some ways it should be the same calories. But maybe this is a function of looking at heart rate as the marker for this, or maybe it is that it is true that、uh, we're increasing the energy being used when, when we have、uh, uh, real katsu. Yes. あの腕,腕でやってもです、ね、その同じことがあの見られるのではないかそのカロリーの消費量は同じなのではないかということだったんですけどもその心拍をそのマーカーにしてです、ね、あのエネルギー消費量を見ていくとこのような結果になります。Um, the slide that I just skipped over was basically summarizing all those findings. So let me go to the、uh, last point. And this is uh, uh, something called the human metabolome. It's not possible to see what all these things are, but these are basically all the different biochemical equations or reactions that,、uh, that is, take place in human tissue. And、uh, what I'm going to tell you about next is、uh, work that's,、um, well, in one second. So, normally, when we try to find out these various markers in the blood, we have to, we have to draw a big blood tube. And it costs $50 to $100 per assessment, and we get a few measurements of things. And this is kind of traditional biochemistry. Hi. で次はですねちょっとお話が変わってバイオケミストリーあの生化学のその反応人,人のその組織内ですね血中マーカーのお話をしますあの採血すると大体1回その5000円から1万円ですね50ドルからあの100ドルかかってそれであの2つ3つのその血中マーカーを見ていくというのがあの検査の検査する時のあの手法だと思いますけれども